against all the evil that hell can conjure. All the wickedness that mankind can produce, we will send unto them only. Hey, how's it going everybody? My name is Magnum Martell and welcome back to another video. Do you know what it's like to be a commentator in the YouTube space today? Do you know what it's like to be the type of guy who plays video games, plays the gameplay of said video games, and then just talks about whatever stuff is going on? It can be a little mentally taxing sometimes, and it's one of the hardest things to do because you gotta keep up with the trends, you gotta constantly record new gameplay to cycle in and out, and when you don't have certain equipment, that's not easy. But one of the biggest trends in the commentary space right now is TikTok, because TikTok is one of the most popular platforms in the fucking world right now for some ungodly reason. Well, a lot of commentators have been uh, doing some things where they will look at TikTok and they will talk about the dumb shit that they find. I myself have done a couple of videos where I focused on something stupid that happened on TikTok, like the vegan video, for instance. So we're going to begin a new series here today. In this series, we're going to be taking a look at random TikToks that I come across or things that happen on said website that I come across that just I wanted to talk about a little bit either because I thought they were neat or dumb or stupid and then that's what I'm going to do now because unfortunately as a commentator I have to do this kind of thing if I don't do this kind of thing and capitalize on it while it's a thing it won't get me anywhere in fact it actually hurts me in the long run algorithmically so without further ado put on your armor grab some weapons because we are about to set sail captain chart your course for the gates of oblivion because we are about to step through them into the barren hellscape of lacking intelligence that is the zoomer filled neanderthalic idiocy of TikTok. now for easy formatting the way i'm going to do this entire series from this point forward is that i'm either going to do three individual ones or two if i have a lot to say about one of them or I'm just going to make it, whenever I do a video about TikTok, or something that happened on TikTok in general, even if it's a long one, it's the only thing I talk about, this is the playlist that's going on. And don't worry, to the viewers who come here for other reasons, this is not about to consume my entire channel. I'm just starting a new series. But alright, let's fucking go. Okay, so this first one is honestly incredibly stupid. After watching this one to begin with, I started watching a couple of the other ones by this chick. And all I gotta say is, it's pretty obvious what she does here. Because, you know, most women aren't that funny, and the handful of them that are, usually they steal their jokes from somebody else. Well, this chick takes a bit from a comedian. I don't know who the comedian is. I don't know if he's someone huge or if he's just someone that goes to the local chuckle hut somewhere where she lives. But anyway, what she does is she takes recordings of his bits and then lip syncs to them in voiceover. And all I gotta say is that it comes up to be some of the weirdest stuff. So let's take a look at the first one I ever saw by this chick. I found a ruler on the sink in my son's bathroom. <laughs> 15 minutes after I found the ruler, I knocked on his bedroom door because that is how long it had taken me to stop laughing. <laughs> I actually knocked with the ruler. I was just like, tick, 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 tick. And he goes, yeah. And I go, hey man, I found uh, the ruler in your bathroom. And he goes, what about, and then, no! That's what he yelled. This kid was so embarrassed, he started two sentences, bailed on both of them, and then fell off a cliff. So I go, hey, what was going on in the bathroom with the ruler? 30 seconds passes, and he finally yells through the door, I was doing math while I was pooping. That's what he yelled at me, aggressively. Like it was my fault. I stumbled upon this ruler in my home. I said, was the answer four, five, or six? So this is a bit of a weird one, and it, it, I didn't even have sound playing the first time I heard this. I didn't realize it was a man's voice doing the talking. I thought it was her doing it, but I was reading the subtitles. And my immediate thought here is, okay, teenage boys, they measure their dicks. It, that is no secret. Everyone knows that teenage boys do that. I did it when I was a teenage boy. Every boy fucking does it. It's... It's a normal fucking thing. And, you know, coming from a man, as a man, hearing this kind of joke is fucking hysterical, regardless of who tells it. But there's a little bit of a different level there, you know? Like, uh, the dad telling this joke is a little funnier than the mom telling it, because dads and moms have a two totally different responses to this kind of thing. The dad looks at this, laughs his ass off, and then asks the question just to make his son get embarrassed. The mom flips the fuck out and thinks her son's a weirdo, and then she asks because she's worried about how, uh, how actually small or large he might be. This chick does this all the time. She pretends to be a redneck father by pretending to drink a Coors Light in every single fucking one of them. 
while using this man's uh, dialogue. And it, it, this one's a little really, really weird because as the mother, you would not be asking this question. Like, you would not be asking him four, five, or six. You don't need to know that. The dad's going to do it to embarrass him and get a chuckle out of it. And yeah, maybe the dad should do that. But either way, honestly, I kind of hope this woman doesn't ever have kids because if she gets her parenting advice from this comedian, she's going to be a terrible parent. I actually had to censor this one myself, because this woman's in this white, see-through robe, and you can see everything. N uh, completely unhidden, and as much as I would like to show that, because it actually ain't a bad view, I, I can't. YouTube would flip the fuck out and strike this video down for sexual content. Believe me, I like to push the envelope a little bit and raise the bar, so it were, but there are some things that even I look at and I'm like, yep, I can't show that. So the obvious connotation of this video is that you're hiding in the closet because she's been cheating on her husband, and she's telling you to stay quiet because he's home and basically giving you a view of what you were supposed to be getting. And all I gotta say is, this is one of those videos where she's gonna get a metric fuck ton of views and followers out of it, because this is just a, a moderately attractive woman using her body for views. It's just basic, simple fucking thought and I hate it. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. It takes no talent, no skill, anyone could do exactly what she's doing right now. But the only reason she's getting views is because she's got her tits on full display. And, you know, I actually I actually reported this one. I was curious. I was thinking to myself, you know, I see a lot of fucking thoughtery here on TikTok. I'm wondering if they take the Twitch approach or not. So I went in there and I reported this video for sexual content because, you know, she's got her full fucking tits on display, nipple and all completely visible. And while I would normally have no complaints about a nice view like that, we all know Big Daddy Magnum has a weakness for redhead. In this case, I was curious. I was testing to see if they would strike it because it violates the terms of service. Because they, they have blatantly have a no sexual content thing in their TOS. And you know, if a dude did this and had like just the outline of his dick on full display, it would get taken down. Well, sure enough, my initial assumption was correct. It did not get taken down. In fact, they say that it is not a violation of the terms of service at all. All right, we got one more for today and I have saved the best for last. This one, I'm not gonna lie to you, is probably my fucking favorite thing I've ever seen. Now, unfortunately, I had to mute this one just because I don't know if the sound that he used, given that it is a song of some kind, is copyright. Because TikTok has this strange immunity to the copyright system that the music industry spent millions of dollars and, like, 40 years putting into place. But, you know, what the hell is even that? This one I love. This one I fucking love because I can appreciate a man that is willing to make stereotype jokes about himself and play along. I love that. It reminds me of a buddy of mine, his name's Chris, he's a good man, I've talked about him in the past. He's a walking, living stereotype because he thinks it's hysterical, and I, I respect that. I respect this guy for being the kind of dude that can make this joke. And it's fucking funny, too, because I, I, I just love the ending where he's got like a badly fucking wrapped up bandana on his face that he just grabs a bag from off screen and takes off. I love it so much. I guess it just goes to show that even a god-awful, atrocious platform filled with garbage like TikTok has that one or two guys out there who are on there. And it has to be men because, you know, the women are only using their bodies for easy views. But <laughs> it has those one or two guys out there that are willing to make the funniest fucking jokes and just roll with it. I love it. Respect this guy. But okay, I think we have covered more than enough for this video. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know what you thought about these TikToks down in the comments below. I'm especially interested to hear what you think about the one of the redhead using her tits for easy views that wasn't a violation, apparently. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this one. Like I said, this isn't going to become the only thing I do. I might try to limit these episodes to maybe once a week or twice a week kind of thing. That way I'm not oversaturating this stuff, because honestly, as much as I do, I am okay with doing it, and I do want to do it, I just, I don't want it to become the thing that consumes my channel like it has for some creators. Stay tuned, I've got another one of these coming out this week, I've got a video talking about PETA wanting to, wanting to remove a minigame from Far Cry 6, and I have a special video that I've been working on that I'm hoping to finish up this afternoon. Is it true what they say about stereotype guys? BAM! Yes it is!